So Wrong Turn 2 was actually a pleasant surprise after the first movie and gave us a stupid entertaining ride. Can we expect the same from 3? Nope! Wait, wait, don't, don't go yet. It, it's not as dull as 1 still. Promise. Welcome to Wrong Turn 3, subtitle, More People Go Into the Woods and Die. Oh wait, I'm sorry, it's actually Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. Is anyone actually Left for Dead in this film? Eh, no. So let's go with the Left for Dead video game reference to get through this. Pills here! Opening scene, random idiots in the woods rafting, getting high and taking their tops off to hold conversations before shock of shocks, the inbreds attack with their perfect aim, and even better, it's Mr. Three Finger doing his perfect arrow aim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the worst and best death in the film. Those inbreds sure know how to get their cutting tools sharp, huh? And he really knew how to die in the worst CGI way possible. As for the rest of the scene, <laughs> well, like I said, this one falls back into some of Wrong Turn 1 like genericness, but hey, we haven't seen this in Wrong Turn yet. Scenes of prisoners being prisoners and guards being guards. Well, my excitement knows no bounds now. Order wants to see you. He says we gotta transfer tonight. Oh man, I just wanna have a peaceful shift and go home. Really? They just spring that on them on the day of? <laughs> Welcome to Jerk Prison, run by the jerkity jerks. So one of the prisoners, Lord Boss Crime, is planning to have his people bust him out during the transfer, but what he doesn't know is that the police know, and they're gonna change the route and have an inside man. These things will factor in a lot. Once they get dumped into the woods, be killed by cannibal chemical mutants. Nate finds this about as exciting as I do. Nate, only you will know my real identity. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Yeah. What type of vehicle were they driving? Some college kids went missing. Wait, disappearances get reported in the wrong turn universe? Are you sure, guys? That really doesn't make sense anymore. Eh, what is this screening? Comfortable life, you know. <laughs> Aw, don't show it again. That shot isn't even necessary. I also like how it seems that they aren't getting anywhere anytime it shows this awful, awful screened garbage. Anyway, while well, on our mother of all screened prisoner transfers, we get to see them stop at the local sheriff station to, um, well, waste time. So these are our main inbreds in this one. Folly and Trap and Three Fingers. That bit with the baby at the end of two? Yeah, forget it. Also, Three Finger is our star of this film. And you may remember Three Finger well from the previous two films, but you probably don't. In fact, the only reason I realized it was the same character was IMDB. Well, it's good that we at least got Three Finger returning for this film, despite, you know, that little issue of having a hole blown into his chest during two. Probably just reset his stomach. Chemical inbred power. And we again really see how these inbreds have stayed undetected all these years when Three Finger drops his barbed wire poppers on the road and the bus goes wee. Anyway, prisoner revolt, or is there? <laughs> yup. Well, that was weird. Convenient bus explosion right after getting the last guy out. Now that gives us a five hour head start. Man, we ain't going anywhere in a hurry, all tethered together by the ankles like this. Cheryl said you grew up around here. Officer Wilson here is going to be my compass. There he is! <laughs> Take it easy. Who are you? What are you doing here? Just let me go before it finds me, please. Well, you wouldn't need to be let go if you didn't blindly jump out and attack any movement you heard. And were to take it she survived this long on these tactics? Really? It eats people. It's a fucking mutant! So then, why doesn't it eat the animals in the woods? 
Because there are none! Where are you? The magic vacant forest? I guess all animals were like, Oh, we're not moving into that forest. It has inbreds in it. We have standards because we're animals. la -ti da Oh, look, random truck in the woods. Oh, look, it's got money in it. You're carrying the cash. Got it? You too. I have to help Walt pick up the bags. So suddenly this has turned into Crocodile 2, just with cannibals instead of crocodiles. It's like Wrong Turn 3 is bored of itself as well, so to try to keep its own attention it keeps dropping in random subplots, all of which will go nowhere. Surprise! You know what they say about money, don't you, Chavez? What do they say about money? They say money's hard to spend. When you're dead! Ah! Ooh, I don't know what was worse, the empty gun fail or the one-liner fail. Now just pick up the bag. Shove it up your ass, motherfucker. Thank you for that. Well, at least now we've got leverage against three Finger! Hold it down. Come on. Or we'll just kill him. Bye, McFollian Trap. To finish off subquest number 17, they make it to the rafts from Cry McLeaperton and the opening kills. Now we're walking. Son of a. Why'd you fucking do that? I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any real point in us coming here. Come on! Fucking tell me! Stop it! <laughs> what is that? It can't be, but it looks like Preslo's keys. Now we can get these fucking chains off. Yeah. Ooh, face! Well, let's all give a hand for the brilliant resolution of the undercover cop plot. I know I said most of these subplots go nowhere, but at least this one had him trying to stop them. For two seconds before dying. Also, the inbred traps are amazing. Choppy choppy! Oh look, we found something randomly to break the chains right after that anyway. Blah blah blah, prisoner deals about the money! Who cares? Oh, but not Brandon, he's the prisoner with a heart of gold, cause he's really innocent, maybe, I don't know, whatever. Think you can jack that thing? Piece of cake, man. That's the tow truck that ran us off the road. Just run over there and check it out. Okay, well let me approach it like I'm trying to go into it through the back instead of, you know, going to one of the doors, cause I need to conveniently walk into Three Fingers barbed wire trap, cause if I didn't, he'd feel really bad about all the wasted time and effort. Who the fuck is he? Tell me right now! I don't know! The fuck you don't! You grew up here! The sheriff said so! So obviously you know everyone that lives out in the woods! But then, there's apparently no honor amongst thieves, and during a random and we're idiot battle, Nate and McLeaperton escape! Well, what do we do with him? Leave him. Yeah, and I won't just straight up kill him because I'm no killer. <laughs> Plus, you know, I want to give him a chance to try and kill or screw me over later. Blah, 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 prisoner deals about the money. Who cares? I'm going in to take a look around. I'm too old for this shit. Yeah, I hear ya. I'm too old for the shitty shoehorned in lines as well. And really, why is the sheriff searching for them solo? He knows it must be the prisoners that got on top after the accident, or else why wouldn't they have just gone back up to the road? Oh look, he caught them again. That escape sure was pointless, wasn't it? But it does let us hear people say, why should I trust you for the 17th time in this film? The watch shows is right over the hill. <laughs> Must have been burned down. Ooh, reference to the first movie! I'd say that must mean three takes place right after one, but we know two happened in between since gas station Hickety Hick blew up and such, so I guess it goes right along with the we never look into things that happened into this forest ever theme. Because seriously, now the authorities are ignoring the events from both one and two, unless the survivors from both those films decide to keep it quiet for no reason, and that means that everyone who died had no one who would miss them. 
Which I guess happens with everyone the inbreds kill. He's out there. What? I can feel him. Oh, since she's been running from three finger for part of a day, she's got an extra sense about him. What? Oh look, the sheriff has saved the day. Oh look, he's dead now and we're immediately back to the same situation. Stop introducing plot points just to immediately drop them! Where's my bags? Floyd. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. And why didn't you before when you were fighting him? Oh right, so we could have another minute long subplot. Fuck you, Chavez! You can pick it up! You can pick it all up! Yeah, too bad you weren't by a river or anything to jump in there, and wow, that guy was super combustible, huh? A head for a head! There she is! Take hers! <laughs> Son of a bitch, we've gotta go after her! No. Really? I thought you'd be up for that! After that, Brandon has finally had enough, knocks him out, and they make sure they don't kill or even restrain Lord Boss Crime. Cause you know, he'd never go after them once he wakes up or anything. Oh look, the girl from the start is still alive somehow, and oh, now she's dead. Uh, yeah, point. <gasps> You made a bad choice, army boy. But again, I will neither kill or restrain you because I just love doing this dance. And we see once again how inbreds who are poisoned by chemicals truly are the superior species as Three Finger shrugs off a gunshot and we get the battle of who gives a fuck until Lord Boss Crime dies. Cool. Brains. <laughs> Is he dead? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, let's not make sure though, cause we're idiots! Oh, guess what? He wasn't, and good thing they didn't just run him over there, cause that'd make too much sense to do. Also, I'm really glad that a severely injured three finger is faster than a truck. <laughs> Blatant Wilhelm scream! <laughs> Brandon comes back to save them, and they finally stab Three Finger in the damn head, making them cool enough not to look at an explosion. Oh, we have an understanding now, so you run off. Okay. And they sit in the middle of the road, and the cops accidentally run them over. <sighs> if only. Also, why did the cops show up? Did they notice people missing or something? I don't get it. Twist ending! Nate goes back for the money! Why is there still money in the truck? Double twist! Brandon kills him cause he really did want the money all along! If Brandon wanted the money, why didn't he take it before now? He had no reason to wait! Triple Super Ultra Twist and Inbred kills Brandon! Either Three Fingers survived Hen Paleman and exploding, or another inbred had that previous day off. Whatever. Funniest thing with this film, Three Finger being the star because it's the third movie. Ha <laughs> ha! Review over. I don't like this movie. Twist ending! The review isn't really over. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Now the review's over for reals! I don't like this movie, doesn't look too- No, it's not! <laughs> I don't like this movie, doesn't look too friendly This monster seems so fake, my nerves are gonna break Failures don't let me down, you need to be around Grab that running wall
after the credits twist. I can't really shoot people with my finger or kill people by going... Guess that was pointless.